This short movie is designed to show how the Everyday Math program introduces the concept of multi-digit multiplication. The method that we use, called partial products, is quite different from the standard method that most of us learned when we were in school. In the beginning it seems really confusing, but there is definitely a method to the madness. Partial products is a great place for kids to begin because it breaks down the process so that the students can understand each step rather than just putting numbers in random spots because that's how they are taught to do it. The kids can see why it works, which really encourages mathematical thinking and problem solving down the line. Let's look at this example, 13 times 20. With partial products, the students are encouraged to think of this as 20 rows of 13, as we see here with our uh, base 10 block notation. The kids have already been taught to multiply numbers by 20, first multiplying them by 2, and then multiplying the answer by 10. So the first step is to break down 13 into two numbers that the kids can multiply, being 10 and 3. Next, the students will multiply 20 times 10, which is shown over here, and then 20 times 3, shown by the cubes. Finally, the kids just have to think of it as a whole, adding the numbers together. This doesn't mean that the students can never be taught the standard method. It absolutely has its benefits, namely for speed, once the children understand what they are doing and why they are doing it. If you were to simply to begin with the standard method, the students might be confused about the steps they are taking, thinking that they are actually multiplying 2 times 3 rather than 20 times 3 and 2 times 1 rather than 20 times 10. It's difficult for them to grasp that putting the numbers in different places gives them different values. So starting with the standard method doesn't make as much sense as working with partial pro products first until the students have a grasp on the process of multiplication.